Alright, today we're going to be installing the fuel return. What's that? We're going to install the fuel return onto the Civic. Oh, I'm already gutted, so it should be easier access for you to get to the fuel cage. <laughs> yeah. Did you crash yours? No. No. Okay. Well, this is the fuel pressure regulator. That's like the stock one. Yeah. But this is a, a delete. So this deletes the stock fuel pressure regulator, and then it allows you to adjust it here. Because now it's not set to factory. Because mm -hmm. like with the, with the factory one, it's just crushed so much that it regulates it. Yeah. Well, this one here, it's a manual. Oh, okay. Manual adjustment. Basically, I guess the key to everything is this. It's the uh, delete for the stock fuel pressure regulator. So it bypasses the stock regulator. So it kind of deletes that portion so you can actually run a return line off of an adjustable uh, fuel pressure regulator. So the inlet's here and it feeds the rail and then return is on the bottom now, which will, which will go back to the cage, uh, the fuel cage, via this uh, bulkhead fitting. And this, this here you have to drill into the uh, uh, fuel cage and this allows the fuel to return back to the cage. This has a, a, a bulkhead fitting as well, so it should be airtight. Um, and then, yeah, this is all uh, Dash 6 fuel line, the line and then the, uh, all the fittings. And this is a carbon line, so then this way the fuel, that you don't have the fuel smell inside the car or anything like that, it's all carbon. And then it's return line on the bottom, that's it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I guess I guess the routing is the, the harder part. Huh? Uh, the fuel cage. You gotta modify the cage. Oh, okay. Receive the return. So this is for the, this is for the uh, bulkhead. Um, that's what the return does. Okay. So it's, it's a little yeah. It's about to be difficult. So open the fuel cap and that will release any pressure inside the tank because we're going to be dealing with uh, the fuel system. This is going to leak quite a bit too. This is how this this works. This is the adapter so you can use the top rail. So right now I'm just trying to place it so you can make the bracket. Set it up like that. This way, the stock rail. Yep, it's got like a bracket there.
everything just like that. Now at least it'll have a bracket and then something to mount to. So that's the custom bracket that we have to Yeah, it's just a little bracket to hold the regulator. So that'll go right there. Like that. And then this way it'll keep the regular at least in place so it doesn't move around. All right guys, so um, the fuel return line is now complete. Here you can see the fuel line, the replacement fuel line. So uh, it connects to uh, the stock uh, fuel rail and then uh, goes to the external fuel uh, pressure regulator and then connects to the stock fuel line right here. And then the, the return line is this one at the bottom. So it's routed alongside the stock fuel lines all the way to the fuel cage. So with this installed, I should be able to run E85 fuel without maxing out my injectors. I have 1000 cc injectors installed and uh, before I couldn't uh, complete my E85 tune because my injectors would be maxed out I'll be at 100% duty cycle so it's unsafe to continue tuning on E85 so I would either have to get a fuel return line or get larger injectors so I thought that maybe it's best to just get the fuel return line All right, so I'm, I'm looking forward to tuning with the 85 again with the uh, bit and uh, hoping to make a little bit